On Monday, we talked about how Iraq War veteran Mike Preisner disrupted a George W. Bush event. And now, in the same week, it happened once again. Another veteran has disrupted a George W. Bush event. So Jeb Sprague on Twitter, who's the one who actually disrupted this event, says, here is video of me shutting down George W. Bush last night. The wars he started in the Middle East damaged the lives of so many. He wasted trillions of dollars for nothing. Meanwhile, he's made tens of millions of dollars in speaker fees since leaving office. Sick. And he's absolutely right about that. It's really morally detestable to know that so many people are wanting to actually hear what he has to say. He's making millions of dollars as an ex-president in speaking fees when really this individual should be ostracized from society, right? He should be afraid to show his face in public because he is indeed a mass murderer who has not been jailed for the crimes against humanity that he has committed. But without further ado, here's the video. This was fantastic. Uh, okay. Now th right sir, this is not the uh, time. This is not the time for that, sir. Yes. Uh, no. No, it is uh, disrespectful to the audience. Yeah. Yeah, no. There we go. Um, that's okay. Here's the thing in America. Uh, the good news is, in other countries, the guy would end up in jail for yelling at a president. Here he's allowed to express himself, and I want to apologize for... Uh that was absolutely incredible. You can tell that he was actually rattled. Like, we couldn't see his face in the speech that was disrupted by Mike Preisner, but you can tell he was actually visibly shaken by that and he should be again every single bush event or speech should be disrupted for the rest of his life he is never going to see a day in jail because he's an ex-president because we don't hold our public officials accountable when they commit crimes against humanity so this is not enough in terms of accountability, obviously, but it's it's something, right? It at least gives us a little bit of satisfaction knowing that this mass murder is going to be at least somewhat inconvenienced. Now, I love how at the end he's like, oh, well, in other countries, you know, a guy would end up in jail for yelling at a president, but he's allowed to express himself. Oh, well, how merciful of you. How merciful of you. Hey, another question for you, George Bush. In other countries, do they actually jail mass murderers? Do they jail public officials when they commit mass murder? In many countries, no. So it seems like we have more in common with these countries than you would lead us to believe, right? And I love how the person who was hosting it said that this is really disrespectful to the audience. So, fuck them. If you actually want to hear what this mass murderer says, you should be disrespected in my opinion. I have no respect for you. You're not a good person if you want to hear what this war criminal has to say. I mean, are you going to show up to listen to other mass murderers? Do you want to hear what Ted Bundy has to say? These people, they don't comprehend the gruesome reality of George W. Bush's crimes. I don't even think he comprehends the gruesome things that he did. He didn't have to see firsthand the bloodshed that he caused. He sent other people to do his bloodthirsty bidding. And maybe that's how he sleeps at night, right? Because those images of death and torture and suffering, those aren't actually burned into his his mind like they are for Iraq War veterans like Mike Preisner. And I'm assuming uh, Jeb, who is uh, disrupting this event. But either way, again, I'll say it again. Anytime there's an opportunity for you to disrupt or protest at a George W. Bush speaking event, you should do that. Because if he's not going to go to prison, at a minimum, he should be embarrassed to show his face in public. He should expect large crowds of protests everywhere he goes for the rest of his life. He should expect people to barge into every single speech or interview that he gives and protest. Because this is a mass murderer and we should treat him as we treat mass murderers with utter contempt and disgust.